Good evening, everyone. Hope you all doing well. Hope you all doing swell. Welcome to the middle of the Mega Man block. Uh, we're going to play Mega Man 3 again. Um, <laughs> but this is not the Mega Man 3 you are where you've played before or seen before this you just saw a few minutes ago no ladies and gentlemen this is the second Mega Man game that's available for MS DOS that's right Mega Man 3 for DOS so I hope you're all ready for this for all the familiar faces that you're going to see in our, uh, our run today uh FYI there is normally no music behind this one just like the Mega Man DOS 1 I will be playing the Mega Man 3 NES soundtrack behind I'll go ahead and get that started that way you got a little bit extra flavor Ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, let's do this. All right, so we start on the enemy select screen and we have all the familiar faces that you've seen before, kind of. <laughs> Press fire to win. So this is the first stage we play. This is the Shark Man stage. Um, this is one of the few Mega Man games that features swimming. That's right. Uh, Mega Man does a lot of swimming in this particular game. So I hope you all, whoop, and I immediately biffed it. That's fine. <laughs> Hold on, Shark Man, that is correct. Let's go. I'm already distracted as I'll get out. Let's go. Oh, oh and we've got uh, our Merman. A good Castlevania Merman there blocking us. So this is uh, Shark Man stage. So this is a very familiar game uh, for all of you. I'm sure you've all seen Shark Man. You've all seen levels that don't just go to the right. No, this is a this game, the levels go in every direction but to the right. So I hope you're ready for that. Uh, but we start off with Shark Man stage because we, I generally play this in the order of weaknesses, uh, as you should with most Mega Man games, but, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> ah, we're getting blocked. So this game is very, very heavy on RNG per as far as what direction things run, what direction things shoot. We're going to take care of you because we can. Ow. Uh, and uh, so... Unlike most Mega Man games, this one is extremely mazy. Uh, and there's actually a few levels where you can get really, really lost. Uh, but that's okay. So this one here, this is the biggest RNG at the beginning of the game that's annoying as this guy. Sometimes he'll let you through, sometimes he won't. The spikes are not instant kill, which is great. We don't have to worry about dying from accidentally going into the spikes. But we do have to worry about not going into the spikes. So we're going to try to avoid that for most of the rest of the run if we can help it. Uh, we're also going to avoid most of the E-Tanks. We're going to grab one or two along the way. Um, but, uh, again, my name is Weapon. Uh, I've been playing MS-DOS, uh, uh, Mega Man 3 since the second DOS Cathlon that we've run. Uh, and, uh, it's, it's a very good game. It's a very solid game. It's very Mega Man. Uh, it definitely looks different and plays differently. So it's, it's, it'll be confusing for some. But, uh, it's, it's a solid game. Uh, highly encourage if you're interested in it to check it out. Please do. Uh, all right, so first boss, uh, most of the bosses have the exact same pattern, and there's virtually no uh, delay per as far as when we shoot the bullets, uh, or the lemons in this case. And we're going to go ahead and... There we go, that's the first stage. <laughs> so four of the six boss mas uh, robot masters that you fight in this game have the same exact pattern, but a different gun, a different attack. So we've got our first attack, which is the shark boomerang. Uh, and we're going to go use that Shark Boomerang against Wave Man, who looks an awful lot like somebody else from... Mm, those are lemons, those are Mentos. Correct. Uh, game? So, there are a few things in this game that are very uh, curious. Uh, for instance, ledges are more of a suggestion than an actual rule. Uh, so you'll find many times where we get hit, we'll just get thrown right through a ledge. Also, these bees are, are amazingly annoying in RNG. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to deal with too many of those. Um, we also have the turrets, which frankly are the worst enemy in the game. Uh, you cannot kill them, but they will always track you and kill you, or try to kill you. Um, so yeah, we try to avoid those as much as we can. Um... So, per as far as this game, uh, I was a record holder for this game for a bit, uh, and then it went between me and uh, uh, Listar for a little bit, and Listar, I believe, is still currently the record holder for this particular game. Uh, I think it's an 18 and some odd change. Uh, my PB is probably about a minute slower. She somehow managed to figure out how to get uh, a super fantastic time, and I've just not been able to... Oop, really, game? Not been able to impr improve upon it myself, so... Eventually we'll get there. Eventually we'll try to fight for that back. But uh, today we're just going to go ahead and try to get through this as quickly as we can. But this is an amazing... Okay. So, 
These turrets are amazing. Uh, there's two kinds of those turrets. They shoot in, uh, the pink ones shoot in eight cardinal directions, uh, and the blue lasers will shoot in four. Uh, those are really the worst enemies of the game. And on to our first boss. We're gonna grab our shark laser and by the lead man. <laughs> so that is our second boss. He gives us the water shooter. Yes, the boss that literally gives us water is an attack. But guess what? I have a perfect boss for that. It's Magnet Man. Wait. Magnet Man, what are you doing without your... Oh. It's not Magnet Man. It's, it's not Magnet Man. It's, it's Torch Man. That's right. He took off the magnet off his head and grabbed a torch uh, flamethrower. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get rid of that. There we go. Perfect. Not so perfect, but that's okay. So, yeah, there is a bit of RNG in this game per as far as enemy placement and movement. Uh, they're always in the same spot, but they do decide to do different things very randomly. Yeah. Wave Man. Not, totally not Air Man. All right. Let's take this guy out. There we go. And is there going to be one here waiting for me? There sure will be. There we go. Hop. Give it up. There's uh, our eight directional uh, turret there. There's another one right there. And hop. All right. We made it. So when I said earlier, ledges in this game are a suggestion more so than rules. Uh, if you're standing on a lot of these ledges and get hit, you'll just be thrown right through the ledge. Uh, and in some cases, that's not a bad thing. In most cases like that, it is. You just lose a lot of time. And we're about to get ledged again there. All right. So say hi to the Sniper Joe. Goodbye, Sniper Joe. There's a couple of those floating around. And yep, we got good luck this time. We managed to land the ledge. Those flower creatures can actually uh, be in the wrong spot at the wrong time, and you'll end up having to go the long way around, which is super, super annoying. And water. By the way, Torchman, his level is in water under the sewers, and he sits in water. Who'd have guessed water would kill him? I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. Really. That, that's the game. It's really there. That's how they made it. All right. On to Bitman, or Hardman. It's Hardman. He got a paint job. Bit Hardman got a paint job and uh, stole Electric Man's weapon. And we're going to take a shot. By the way, it is by far better to take a bullet shot than a body shot from an enemy. Uh, you take a... Oh, come on, game. <laughs> uh, MS-DOS, MS everybody. MS-DOS, everybody. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Goodness. Game's not... Well, we're going to take a long way around then. Oops. <laughs> so this game was supposed to be a different game when it was created. Uh, however, uh, Capcom wanted the Rosner, Rosner uh, brothers and to, to create another uh, uh, classic for us. And I'm going to get hit. That's fine. Uh, so it got changed from being what it was to Mega Man 3 because Mega Man 2 was already gone and passed. They just released Mega Man 3. They had a lot of the marketing material for 3. Let's just release it as 3 instead of 2. So there you go. And floors are suggestion that more than an actual rule. And I body shot. That's not good. And we're going to tell... And we missed the jump. That's okay. And we're just going to take a lava bath. That's fine. We're going to take a lava bath. That's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. There we go. Yeah, there is no Mega Man 2 for DOS. Uh, this was created and released about the same time as Mega Man 3. Uh, so they're like, yeah, no, we need this to be Mega Man 3 because we already have the marketing material for 3. Let's just call it Mega Man 3. Ah, okay, can, we, can you not? Game, can you not? There's actually a really good uh, history um, video on this one and the Me uh, Mega Man uh, 1 for DOS as well out there on YouTube. I highly recommend you go check it out if you're interested in these games. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that immediately. Thank you. Yeah, there is no Mega Man 2 for DOS. There is this one. And there is also Mega Man X for DOS as well, which plays a lot more like actual Mega Man X uh, than, than Mega Man 1 and 3 here do. But there you go. <laughs> Off to the boss. Let's go. And our revamped uh, hard man. And is that? <laughs> so the bosses in this, for the most part, are pretty much a joke. Um, they go down pretty quickly with their weaknesses. Um, even without the weakness, the uh, with uh, the pea shooter, it, they're still pretty manageable. The second hardest level of the game, Blade Man. 
who looks awfully familiar too. I can't place it. <laughs> can't place it. All right. So we get to do a little bit more swimming here in Blade Man stage. And we're going to do a little bit of, oh, I jumped too far. A little bit of pathfinding, a little bit of maze. Uh, actually, the hardest maze game in the, uh, hardest level maze-wise in the game is Torchman stage. This one would be second. Uh, most of the rest of the stages are pretty straightforward. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to bother with the E-Tank there. Don't need it. Oh, yeah, and we got visited by the plant monster, who is always in the wrong place at the wrong time. All right. Uh, rip rendering. Uh, I apologize for that here very shortly. So y'all know Bubble Man stage. How, uh, are you? I'm just going to. You're dead. I'm killing you. You are so. I, are you serious with this right now, video game? <laughs> Um, but y'all know uh, in Bubble Man stage, if you try to stream Bubble Man stage, it's very hard on rendering. This is going to come up here very, very shortly. Uh, you're going to see the waterfalls of death, uh, per as far as your frames. So give it just a moment. Oh, 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 dodged. And rip rendering. Give it about 20 seconds here. Not even that. Rip rendering. And we're through. All right, good. So this is the hardest, one of the hardest stages in the game, only, well, the second hardest stage of the game, not because the enemies are difficult, but because there's a room coming up here that is one of the most atrociously designed rooms in the game, specifically around a turret and a water droplet that are just really, really horribly placed. And I completely biffed that. My apologies. All right, go. All right, excellent. And it's this spot right here. You see this water droplet? It's right next to a laser, and you have to do these just right. Otherwise, you have to go all the way back. And I've spent, I've spent a lot of time. I've spent a lot of time in that little room. Uh, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in that little room. All right, where's he at? There he is. Thank you. Where's he at? Oh, got him. Good. Beautiful. All right, so we got more laser turrets. Some of these laser turrets, it's more advantageous just to wait a, a few moments for. And here you, uh, I got unlucky. A little plant dude was waiting for me. Another one! Are you serious with this? So there's one little, oh, game, you can't be serious right now. So one of the interesting things about this particular Mega Man game is if you kill an enemy or damage an enemy and die, once you get back to that spot where that enemy is, it'll actually retain the damage, or if it's dead, it'll be dead when you come back. So I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. So you won't have to kill these if you kill them the first time around. We're gonna hope to not have to do that, but let's go ahead and bit laser. And he's dead. Blade Man is down. And that's the fifth boss, ma uh, not, uh, Robot Master. We've got one more and the final dungeon. So, short and sweet. All right, on to Oil Man, who looks an awful lot like Flash Man got a new helmet. That's fine, though. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We got this. All right, Oil Man stage was the first stage I attempted when I started learning this game. And I spent probably about three hours the first time trying to play this just to beat the Oil Man stage. Funnily enough, it's the last one you actually even want to attempt in, in order because you... You want Oil Man's, um, you don't have Oil Man's, um, let me try that again. For boss weakness order, Oil Man is the last one you fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to English today, and I don't. I don't English. I do English, it's the only language I know, but I'm terrible at it. So, there you go. And wait for the B, there he goes. We're gonna wait for the B again, because if we don't, he's gonna give us a hard time on the ladder. There we go. Yeah, it's very, 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 very safe to do the bee sooner than, than trying to climb the ladder when he's alive. Because if you try when he's alive... Ah, oh, you suck. You're not going to let me up either, are you? No, he certainly is not. Come on, bee. Come on, bee. You, you need to stop this. I don't miss this. I never miss this. And I'm, I'm, I'm upset right now. Come here. And when I need you to spawn, you're not spawning. Are you serious? Okay. I, 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 I can't even right now. This is this is 100% I can't even. That is not a hard jump. All right. So I really apologize for that. That is that is atrociously bad. And and for no good reason other than just being atrociously bad. Thank you for that. 
And we're probably gonna die here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out a few of these guys before I do. Oh, thank you. I won't die. I will die. That's okay. Ah, I'm gonna get hit by something. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it. Do I have another healing? I do not. Okay. Can I make it without getting hit one more time? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be clutch. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Blah. All right. One more mosquito. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to kill. Oh, he's gonna take me out. He's gonna do it. Okay. Whew. <laughs> One point of health. And. No, we're good. <laughs> and we're good. On to Wily stage, which is arguably the hardest stage in the game, but. Yeah. Not even close, baby. All right, let's go, Dr. Wally. You, me, and all of the guns that I picked up along the way. All right, we are going to wait for the first laser here, because the acid here uh, is one of the only places in the game where you can instantly die. Uh, it, so we're going to be careful around that. And also, this, this stage has a couple very, very game-breaking glitches. Uh, so we're going to hopefully not hit that. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go do that real quick. But yeah, this stage is pretty much uh, dodge the turrets the game. And I have failed. Okay, I'm gonna let you go do your thing. <laughs> and I have failed again. <laughs> That's all right. This game isn't too bad to learn. It does take a little bit to get used to the, the different controls. The fact that a lot of your guns that you have to select, you still, even with controller um, remapping, uh, can be a major pain because you do have to use the uh, the keyboard to select your guns. So you can't just use up and down, left and right on your on your your controller. You have to legitimately have to hit the P key for your Buster. You have to hit the O key for your oil gun. Uh, you have and so on and so forth. J to jump. So I highly recommend if you decide to pick this up for yourself, definitely get a uh, remapper for a controller because it's it's atrocious. All right, on to. Waveman round two. Oh, come here. And here's where it breaks. If I jump too low, I'll phase down through the ground and have to redo the stage entirely. And we're good. So yeah, if you touch the upper door too low, you'll phase to the bottom and you soft lock. You have to kill yourself uh, and, and start the whole stage over. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's one of the few places in the game where it can legitimately just completely break. It's amazing. All right. Dodge the turrets. This is the nastiest turret in the game. There it is. And we dodged it. Good. We're almost there. All right. There he goes, uh, Oil Man, yet again. <laughs> We're almost there. So on to the final jumping sections of the game. Uh, we've got one or two more boss fights, I believe two. Uh, but these, these uh, jumping things, you have to be fairly precise. All right, hang on. Let's go ahead. Uh, drop me something. He did not. Thank you. Yeah, you have to be fairly precise on some of those jumps. The cat's kind of annoying. All right. Uh, you want this. We don't want to waste any more bit beam than we need to because we need that for the second to final boss fight. By the way, if you're familiar with uh, Mega Man DOS 1, the final boss was Croak. Uh, not Dr. Wall. Oh, no. That's okay. Uh, it was Croak. And guess what? You get to fight him again here. All right, let's go. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Final major jumping section of the game. One more refight, and then Dr. Wally, and Croak and Dr. Wally. Wily? Wally? Wally? That's okay. Are there no spikes? There is the acid pits, and there is a few uh, bottom off falls, but yeah, the, uh, there's, the spikes do not insta kill you in this game. All right, off to the second to last fight. Because we love our refights all in one stage. Let's go. Croak, let's go. And one more shot. Let's switch the blades. Don't miss or you will be waiting. Like that. And there's Croak. Goodbye. 
Yeah, the Mountain Dew, do not drink the Mountain Dew in this game. Uh, it is not good for you. All right. All right, let's go, Wily's Rave. Glow sticks and everything, let's do this. Let's see, he's gonna be kind today. He's not gonna be kind. That last uh, glow stick is hitting just wrong. All right, let's go. I don't wanna get closer because if you even put your foot across the uh, threshold of the edge there, you instantly die. Um, all right, let's go. Come on, Dr. Wily. And... GG. There it is. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Dr. Wily in Mega Man 3 for DOS. Uh, Dr. Wily has surrendered. Mega Man has saved the planet from destruction yet again. But will it last? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me for Dr. Wily. For <laughs> Dr. Wily. Mega Man 3 for DOS. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you joined me on that. If you want to pick it up, let me know. If you want any questions on it, let me know. Uh, but that'll do it for me for the marathon. I appreciate everybody. Uh, stay tuned. We are not done with the Mega Man block. We got some more Mega Man block to go. I hope you're ready for that. Stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you.